أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وأفضل الصلاة وأتم التسليم على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين ورضي الله تعالى عن سادة التابعين وعلماء العاملين وأئمة العرب المجتهدين ومقالدين إلى يوم الدين أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته We begin with the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. All praises are due to Allah, the Lord of the worlds. And the best prayers and most abundant peace be upon our Master, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, upon his family, companions, all of them. May Allah, the Most High, be pleased with the masters of the Tabi'een, the right acting scholars, the four Imams who exercise independent judgment, and those who follow them until the day of judgment. As what follows, we greet all of you in peace. This is the open letter to the Jamaat of Sheikh Uthman and Fodio in America. From myself, Imam Naeem, Allah, may Allah remove his sins, his sins from him. Inshallah, by the will of Allah, it will be beneficial to all those who read it and success is with Allah. Allah the Most High says, وَأَتَسِمُوا بِحَبْلِ اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا وَلَا تَفَرُّقُوا Hold to the rope of Allah altogether and do not be divided. Before mentioning this verse, Sultan Muhammad Bello, Rahimahullah, said, I hear to the Jama'ah, indeed that which has destroyed the communities of the past was this unity. It is our intention to address seven issues within this communication. We ask that Allah make it successful and beneficial. I would like to begin by publicly accepting Sultan Ali Muhammad Tahir's offer to be his Murshid and representative in the United States. This was already done, however, I wanted to also accept it publicly so that there would be no ambiguity regarding this. I know better than any of you that I am not quali qualified for this. And I say this in honesty rather than humility. Part of what Abu Bakr Siddiq who said when he became the Khalifa is, O oh people, I have indeed been appointed over you, though I am not the best among you. If I do well, then help me. If I act wrongly, then correct me. If this was proper for Abu Bakr to say, this, then, about himself, then, it is even more appropriate with regard to myself. The Jamaat should know that I didn't ask for this responsibility, nor did I try to secretly position myself to be noticed for it. In fact, I didn't know that something of this magnitude was in the making. I respect the choice of the Sultan, that the Sultan has made, and like all of, all of them, their important decisions, I know that there are spiritual realities which underpin their outward decisions. Number two, many of you may not be aware, but several years ago, the Jamaat chose Mokhtar Khan of Houston, Texas as their Amir. Thereafter, around about 2007, he visited Sultan al Haj Abu Bakr, Rahimahullah, and came back with several mandates from him. These mandates were similar to what his brother, the present Sultan, had issued. Because these orders were from the Sultan were inconsistent with what was being taught and propagated, many of the brothers rejected him and that was what he came back with. The abuse, negativity, name-calling accusations became so intense that Amir Mukhtar decided to resign. May Allah bless Amir Mukhtar for his efforts. It is the Sultan's position that all of those who rebelled against Amir Mukhtar had in fact broken their bayah. And Amir Mukhtar, along with those who supported him, had remained true to their oath. Point number three. Sultan Ali is not recognizing any um Umar, any Amirs in America. The old structure and its leadership have been dismantled. 
This went into effect upon the release of his letter, which was made into a video and released. If you have not seen it, please check any of our websites, such as norosamaninstitute.org and masterdownmovement.org. When this video gets posted to YouTube, all of the information will be there so you can see it. If you don't already know it or can't find it, you will find those videos there. The only leader who he recognizes at this time is his Moshe and representative, Imam Naeem Abdullah. Number four, there have been a lot, there has been a lot of division and harsh words exchanged between believers connected to the Jamaat over the years. I myself have been the victim of some of these things for 10 plus years. I have been accused of breaking my bayah and a list of other things. It has reached such a point that I have had innumerable amount of Muslims come to me who have never met me and tell me of how evil a person I was supposed to be. Most of those who made it their business to destroy my reputation and that of many others also claim to have the oath of allegiance to Sultan of Hajj Abu Bakr and the now present Sultan Ali. What I am saying to those who have shown hostility towards me and others is, do not let your hatred of me cause you to become treacherous in your own. As far as we are concerned, if you're, you are sincere in your bayah, in your own, and wish to adhere to what Sultan Ali has ordered, we will not block or hinder them. Our position regarding you is the same as Prophet Yusuf, may Allah be pleased with, uh, may Allah may peace and blessings be upon him, when he forgave his brothers for their actions as well as Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam when he forgave the people of Mecca for their actions. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala quotes him, meaning Prophet Yusuf, when he said to his brothers, لَا تَفْرِبَ عَلَيْكُمْ الْيَوْمِ يَغْفِرُ اللَّهُ لَكُمْ There is no blame on you this day. May Allah forgive you. In other words, we forgive you. You know, it's bigger than this. And you have to excuse me, I'm not used to speaking from prepared speeches, I'm an extemporaneous speaker. I like to speak from the heart. But I prepared this to make sure I don't deviate from the script, inshallah, and that it doesn't take too long. Over the years, point number five, over the years there have been many brothers who were kicked out, ostracized, left out, abandoned, or for whatever reason backed away from the Jamaat. Sultan Ali, just like Sultan Abu Bakr before him, has made it clear that it is not permissible, la yaju, it is not permissible to remove somebody from the Jamaat unless they do something major which results in them leaving Islam. Therefore, if you still agree with and wish to adhere to the minhaj, the methodology of, Shehu, of the Shaykh, Shaykh Muhammad and Khalil, Muhammad Abu Lahu Jumaqim Sinameen, may Allah avail him in his mercy, with a direct link to his Khalifa, meaning the Sultan, the door is open for you to reaffirm your bayah. In fact, we are asking everyone to renew their veil. This includes those who consider themselves in good standing, as well as anyone else. We must know who we are dealing with. If you wish to reaffirm your veil, or even give it for the first time, reach out to me directly. You can do this by phone, text, Facebook, email, or whatever, and I will get back to you, inshallah. This is also necessary because there is instruction, or are instructions which must be given. And inshallah, when this comes on YouTube, the information will be there. Out of contact. Point number six. Back in 2001, I had the pleasure of visiting Sultan al Haj Abu Bakr. May Allah have mercy on him. Me. I felt as though I was being treated like a highly placed foreign diplomat who was a guest of an allied nation. While there, I noticed many things. I would often say that Sultan Abu Bakr's twin was Sultan Ali because they looked exactly alike except for a difference in height. Every time I saw Sultan Ali, he seemed to be keeping company with the poor and eating among them. These are not traits often found in a person belonging to quote unquote the royal family. He reminds me of the prophetic dua where the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam asked Allah for him to be resurrected among the poor and he always greeted us with a smile. And I say that to say that the Jamaat is in good hands with Amir al-Mu'mineen, Sultan Ali, who is the son of Muhammad al-Tahir, 
who is the son of Muhammad ben Omeyyama, who is the son of Muhammad al Tahir, who is the son of Ahmed Zulufu, who is the son of Abu Bakr al Tiki, who is the son of Shaykh Uthman al Khoya, Subhanahu wa Ta'ala, who is the Rahmati, Ameen. May Allah have mercy upon Ali, may Allah bless Sultan Ali, may Allah have mercy upon his grandparents, his father, his great grandfather, and all of his descendants. We understand that certain terminology as well as other things need further explanation. Know that it is our intention to make it so that the Jamaat hears from the Sultan directly on a regular basis, in the same way that he addressed the Jamaat in his first address. And again, that address can be found on our websites and Facebook page. This will prevent that feeling of disconnect creeping in between us and him. We also need, we also intend to, we also intend on teaching and communicating regularly so that the minhaj of the shaykh becomes a reality and not a slogan. May Allah protect and bless Sultan Ali with whatever he needs in this life as well as the next. May Allah have mercy upon Sultan al Hajj al May Allah bless his family and the entire family of the shaykh. May Allah bless the Jamaat of the shaykh, wherever they may be. May Allah have mercy upon the Jamaat of the shaykh in America. May, you, may Allah unite their hearts. May Allah reward and elevate all of the brothers and sisters of the Jamaat, past, present, and future, including those who have animosity towards us. May Allah remove that animosity. May Allah keep us united internally and externally with all of the other Muslims of Ahl Sunnah to Jamaat. May Allah bless and protect all of the Muslims wherever they may be. O oh Allah, we ask you this by the rank of your beloved Prophet Muhammad, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and this is obviously by me, your brother in Islam, Imam Naeem Abdullah, and Moshe Sultan Ali Muhammad.